in a situation where the order is never perfected, you can't get into any trouble. You, you would have been running a risk if you uh, decided not to comply with what was said because you felt the order would never have been perfected. Um, but if for whatever reason you didn't comply and the order is never perfected, you've gone clear. How can anybody... <laughs> Look, without the order being perfected, there can be no appeal, there can be no scrutiny until an order is perfected. A judge can change his mind, you know, as long as he's not functus. So there is no doubt in my mind that the so-called oral order that uh, then Chief Justice Benjamin made, which was an injunction not to do the spending before going to the house. Remember, that was stayed for six months. I'm not even sure that the six months have passed. We went back to the house uh, when last week, and we, we did a supplementary. So even if you want to argue that that would have been covered by the order, it was within the time when the order, by way of the Chief Justice's own pronouncement, was stayed, and, 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 and therefore uh, we could not be caught. But know that it is clear that that order can never be perfected because the Chief Justice has found us. I'm surprised they didn't tell you that perhaps the Chief Justice, even now, the ex-Chief Justice, can still go and complete the judgment and sign it.